Nyasi Yarbun, get ready with me while I prepare my lesson plan for the day. And if you are a non native English teacher here in Korea, maybe you have comments and suggestions that would help me and others also while not share. And feel free to comment down below. So, see you around. So, when I do my lesson plan, is I always start with our vocabulary. Just write it for me to help. So, what I do when I write my lesson plan, I go first with a vocabulary and then for me to have right pronunciation i always go to google i always make use of this as a reference for pronunciation and sometimes i forgot the pronunciation of words due to my multi languages i have tagalog i have bisaya i have korean and i have english and to remember i always make use of this one and then for my vocabulary as i told you i always make use of quill but yes i check there they have a paraphraser grammar and the other programs that you could use for free but if you want to upgrade then you can but you need to pay and then after i do that one i also go to the story and then review the story very well and then make use of youtube videos later i will show you how my lesson plan goes but i will not show the whole system since we rely with the system for our lesson plan but for us native speakers in behalf of na native speakers we always make use of the internet for other references, games, and other fun activities to make for our class. But sometimes you try to make the lesson plan. Uh, you always imagine that the class will be great, that the class will be fun, that the, that the class would be uh, okay. But actually, in reality, you don't know what will their behaviors be because every day is a new day uh, they always have uh, different emotions every day so you must check their emotions i always ask them how are they feeling this day and i ask them what date is today and i also ask them what is the date today so that they will know how to get use of those questions and answer it easily so let's use Quillbot for you to know how to use this one. So, so from your original sentence, what do you think you will be in the future? So it will be, to paraphrase, how do you anticipate his future self to be? You could also, uh, that is the standard, you could also use for fluency, formal, academic, creative, custom, simple, expand, short, shorten. So let's try. Let's try fluency. So for fluency, it's different. What do you imagine he will be like in the future? For formal, as you must unlock the premium premium modes, so you should pay. The one that you could use is just standard and fluency. From formal down to I uh, up to shorten, you have to pay. So that is for Pillbot. So with the use of uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, I make use of it in order for me to communicate well with the students. So we have this free talk uh, time. So I make questions from the internet or maybe my personal questions and check my grammar using Quillbot and then doing this one in order just to slide show in order for me to easily um, bring to them the questions that I want to ask them. So most of the questions are personal and it's up to the students if they answer or not. If they answer, that would be great. If not, I don't really force them to answer and I just leave the student as, as she liked or he liked not to answer. I proceed with other students 
the end as them. And that's what I do with uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. And I make use of this also with the uh, images. I just copy and paste it here. And as I told you, I have English uh, sentence. And then after I put uh, Korean translation in order for them to easily understand what am I saying. And I say it, I say it clearly and I always use simple words for them to easily understand. So that's it.